We got a 1970 Chevy Pro Touring Nova right here. Look at all this good information, documentation that will come with the car. There's a thousand miles on a complete ground up, body off the chassis build. There's a lot I'm gonna tell you about the car, but for starters, it's a 383 stroker with fuel injection system, uh, performance built, uh, overdrive trans automatic, posi rear end, all custom steering and suspension and brakes, uh, air condition, it's got it all. And it's really price fair. Go to volocars.com, that is where you'll find a price tag on every car we have for sale, along with a monthly finance option. They only want 10% down and they'll finance most of my cars 12 or 13 years. That's at volocars.com. You also will find their uh, pictures top to bottom and the description. Now, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon. We're posting exciting new cars just about daily. Right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Okay, I'm going to refer to my notes on this one. I'm going to cheat a little bit because there's a lot going on. But everything was dropped or removed from the bottom of the car. Uh, the floors are all new clean metal sprayed with a bed liner. So it's nice rubberized, durable uh, floors. We have turntable issues. That's okay. Uh, up front, all completely custom suspension, tubular control arms, QA1 coil over gas shocks, Hotchkiss sway bar system, a unisteer rack and pinion steering. It's all new. The ball joints, bushings, and it all looks new. It's nice and clean. Uh, frame connector. Ties the front to the back that helps prevent the body twist. All new and back, all upgraded. New bushings, new leaf springs with lowering blocks. The car is lowered. Uh, tubular adjustable traction bars. A Hotchkiss Performance three-piece sway bar. It has a sway bar that goes up to two like uh, links. Uh, gas shocks and back. Upgraded bare disc brake system, four wheel disc with drilled uh, rotors at all four wheels, custom uh, e-brake assembly, stainless braided hoses at all four wheels, has a custom made stainless fuel tank, so that's all new, the straps, the sending unit, has an electric fuel pump uh, and the high pressure braided hoses for the um, atomic fuel injection system that we'll talk more about in a little bit. Two and a half inch exhaust sounds great. You'll hear it towards the end of the video. Looking up at the motor is fresh Chevy orange. Has an extra capacity oil pan and a high torque starter. The transmission is from Gearstar. We have all the paperwork. There's like a $3,500 transmission. It's a 200 R4 overdrive. I think it was built to handle like a thousand horsepower or something. So it's all performance built. You will get all the specs for that in that folder. It has a new drive shaft. The 12 bolt rear ends completely rebuilt. It's got posi years. It has the aluminum cover, girdle cover, which adds more strength. Uh, and again, the floors were sprayed with Linex. Nice, durable. Everything's new under this car. Now let's check out the body. It has a nice presentation. It has a nice stance. I'm liking this car. So the roof is excellent, no damage, no waves, nothing funny here. Quarter panels, nice and clean and straight, smooth along the bottom. This all lines up real nice, straight, square, no issues, all looks good. This all looks really good, clean. They sprayed like a chip guard along the very bottom, but it's color matched. This is all real nice. There is like a, no, there's a scratch. We'll talk more about the paint, but there is a scratch right there. Look how the door fits nice and square. Even up here, the, the frame is real nice. There is a pretty good sized chunk of paint that's been brush touched and the color matches good. But when they were uh, aligning the doors or adjusting things, I don't know what they did, but they blew a pretty good chunk out right here. Uh, it has a metal cowl hood. This all fits nice and lines up nice. Uh, couple chips, again, we'll get to the paint, but there are some chips in the paint. 
This is all real nice, real nice and straight. So it's like a shadow gray paint. It presents itself well. You walk up to it, it's beautiful. The top of this fender has some raised area, some bubbly, bumpy area, real thin along here, and then a problem area there, and also a few spots up here. It seems to just be on the top of this fender. The rest of that looks great. All the metal flake is laid out evenly. It's all smooth. It's glossy. Here's a chip right here. Yeah, the paint, that all looks really sharp. All looks really good. So a couple issues. The top of that fender and this door and this scratch, which I don't think is bad enough to worry about. If I owned the car, I would, I would fix the fender and the door. There is a shop right next to us I can highly recommend. And we can get an estimate if you choose to have that done here. Uh, the color will match without question. So all the trim looks new. Like this stainless, it's really shiny. That's new stuff all around here, all around the window frames. Door handles are shiny, bow tie mirror, all this trim. The, even the wiper arms are shiny. New windshield, new emblems. The wheels are Vision wheels. Performance tires, they are uh, G-Max tires. I'm looking for this size. They look like they're a 17-inch. And, yeah, 17-inch wheels. Remember a couple chips in the paint here. There's a touch-up right here on the edge. All the grill, the bumper, lenses, that stuff all looks new. Bowtie mirror on this side. So the rear tires are fatter. The tire itself, <clears throat> the wheel, is still a 17-inch, just got fatter tires on it. You can see the drilled and slotted brakes through the wheels there. And in back, has the SS panel, and all this trim was replaced. So, so far, a really nice car. It's got a look, it's got a stance, has a few paint flaws that can be corrected. Now let's see what it looks like inside. All right, so look inside the trunk. They did paint under the trunk lid and the jam real nice. The weather strip is replaced. Uh, the hole inside the trunk compartment is all metal. They might have replaced the trunk pan. It's, it's that clean. Uh, batteries relocated to the trunk, bolted down nicely. This is part of the MSD or uh, fuel injection system. Or uh, you know, it goes with here's the tuner. So that will go with it, of course. I didn't finish reading that entire folder of notes, so make sure you check the website in a few days. I'll have more information posted. Door jams are painted nice. Weather strips are replaced. Door panels, armrests, window cranks. That's all completely new. Custom instrument panel, this whole thing. Full set of pro comp gauges. It hasn't even turned 1,000 miles yet. Uh, we got a deluxe... Uh, push and grip wheel and a tilt column. The streamlined vintage air controls that are backlit uh, white. Has a nice new JVC stereo. New dash pad. This is all painted. The AC is installed neatly. Um, the kick panels are original. They're green. Someone painted them black. There's a little bit of bl uh, black wearing off. B&M uh, shifter. Got these nice sport seats, pro car seats. They really hold you in place. Uh, the back seat is an original, but it's upholstered to match. The side panels are replaced. It has some 6x9 speakers in back, new headliner. Also has uh, retractable shoulder belts, which they didn't have back then, but this one does. Uh, so really a very, very nice interior with a lot of upgrades. So this motor is a 383 stroker motor. Now I'm going to refer to my notes here. I don't have much on that right now. But it has an aluminum intake. 
This aluminum valve covers and that can be polished up a little better, but it does have a matched set of plug wire holders, valve covers, and air cleaner. MSD ignition system, MSD atomic fuel injection, uh, vintage heat and air conditioning system that's all modernized, big fat aluminum radiator, the shroud and fan and a chrome cover on top, has a transmission cooler up front. Uh, you can't see if there's a little pump down there. That's probably for vacuum for the uh, for the brakes. All chrome power brake system. It's got power steering. Uh, it's got hooker headers. So this car's got a lot going on. A lot of good equipment. A good list of parts. Wiper motors new. Modern alternator. does what it's supposed to do. It's got a nice muscle car idle, revs up nice and clean. And this thing's not even warmed up yet. We just started it. Yeah, I tell you what, this is a really good car. It feels right. It seems to run right. Someone really, really did a great job. Just short. There's just a few things. You touch up that paint, put a little elbow grease on that aluminum under the hood, and you're going to have a really nice car. And for where I priced this thing, I've sold them very comparable, but finished and dialed in for 30 grand more. This car has all the right stuff. So put another... Another 1,000, 2,000 into this car. Uh, you got one heck of a machine. Actually, it's one heck of a machine just the way it sits. Go to volocars.com and talk to the salesman with your questions. They'll assist you with the whole process, including the financing, getting it delivered to your door. So visit volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe and click on the bell icon. We post cars every day. Thanks for watching.